Everybody meet your new sleep paralysis demon. I do not care if you are playing with or against this man. If you see him, your life has now become a living nightmare. The only real winners in a Gitrog game is the surgeon who is paid $50,000 after the game to staple the Gitrog player's hands back together once they've exploded from attempting to shuffle this deck 40 fucking times in the span of two minutes. Observe, on your upkeep, the Gitrog monster forces you to sacrifice a land. You may be fooled into thinking, wow, they made a card with downside? That's so real of them. They did not, fellow gamer. Forcing a green player to sacrifice a land is like stealing $50 from Jeffrey Bezos. It may be a net moral good, but you are not even doing enough to slow these motherfuckers down. But of course, since this card is green and black, aka Golgari, aka Shadow Wizard Compost Gang, this is just straight upside for them, since you get to play enough lands to net one each turn, provided you draw more lands, which how could you? Or perhaps by drawing a card any time a land enters your graveyard. Are you fucking kidding me? You may have come to play Magic. These people came to speed cheat at Farmville. The average Gitrog player's turn involves sacrificing more lands than you brought in your entire deck to both bring out more lands, forcing them to shuffle every third game action, of course, and draw through their whole deck in search of a combo that they will tell you deals 800 damage and you won't even check the math because you just want to go home. Even the non-combo Gitrog decks will simply throw their land trash can onto the table before going all Captain Planet on your ass. And I want to say that he can't get it, but looking at that art, it seems like he already did, so all hail to Hypnotoad.